Eric and Daniel, thank you. Um, Paul and Felix, and thank you, Mayor Connolly, thank you, everybody. Um, my name is Andres Correa, and I am the president of the preliminary board of the Jim McDermott Scholars Alumni Association, uh, a regionally formed nonprofit corporation here in the state of Texas. Uh, here with me is a table over there of other alumni of the McDermott program, just a small group of the many who wish they could have been here tonight, um, but are spread out around the world and uh, the country. Um, we owe a great debt to this university. Uh, we owe a debt to its founders, we owe a debt to its professors, to its leadership, both present and past, to its professors, to its students, and in particular to one supporter that is an ongoing, very strong, staunch supporter of the university who is here tonight, Mrs. Martin McDermott. We owe a great debt to you and to the university as a whole. Well. That's why um, when I think about alumni service for us, I, I don't really see it as an act of service. It's more of a call of duty, an obligation uh, that we have to fulfill. And, um, and because of that, this, this award, and we're so grateful and, and honored to receive it, but it's really, instead of a, an achievement to us, it's a uh, goal. It's something that we are achieving, something that we will achieve, something we're just starting to do, and we have a long way to go, and we're very excited. We have a great group of alumni, very excited, ready to go, and energized. And, um, and for that reason, we're, we're so grateful to receive it, um, and, and, and we will continue working on this. This is just the beginning. Um, in fact, we have a special announcement tonight that um, we'd like to make. I'm going to turn it over to Benedict Boyd, who was our chair of development for the Alumni Association. <laughs> Others know that we are very fortunate to be graduates of the university and also members of the McDermott program. Uh, the idea of a program is very different in the sense that a scholarship is something that provides funds for students and upon graduation you usually split ways. A program, on the other hand, is, is a commitment. It's a lifetime commitment. It's a commitment from the program to us as scholars. And then it's also a commitment from us as scholars back to the program in the university. Uh, and that's why we're here tonight. We're here to formalize that commitment. Through our networks, we hope to be a large presence at the university. We want to support our alma mater in spirit and also to advance that spirit by providing financial aid. Currently, we're in the process, like I said, of becoming a 501c3 status as well as getting our IRS official number. Um, but as the passionate and excited and enthusiastic alumni that we are, we're not going to wait for the government. <laughs> <laughs> so as such, we've launched a pledge drive where we've been talking with our fellow alumni. We've used our network of connections by making phone calls, emails, social media, whatever we can do to reach out to them. And we're very proud to announce that as of tonight, we've reached out to the over 100 plus alumni and we've secured pledges from over 90% of our alumni to give back to the university. And I'll point out that not because we've had members that said no, but more because, as you saw on the logos, they're all over the world and some of them are, um, at this point, unreachable. Uh, and as such, because we weren't satisfied with 90%, we've had other alumni commit to make donations on their behalf. <laughs> so Project 100 has been a success. <laughs> we put a lot of time in this organization, but we've only just begun, like Andres noted. And so for that opportunity, we look forward to enriching the life of the university, to be a vibrant part of its future, and to be ambassadors for its visions and its goals. So again, we're truly grateful for this award and the honor. Thank you, and of course, UTD. Whoosh! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.